I'm Stephen Stone, the Chancellor of Trent University and a proud graduate of this institution. I was a student here in the early days of Trent. I'm the 12th Chancellor and I graduated here uh, under the first Chancellor, Leslie Frost. And when I was a student, uh, back here in the mid-1960s, Trent uh, had just been founded under the guiding principles of its first president, Tom Simons. Tom's vision was that to change and challenge the world requires education, but not just any education. Rather, an education which trains us to think in new and innovative ways. And the foundation of that unique education is a multidisciplinary approach to learning, combined with a college system of interaction and social learning. That, in very short form, is the secret sauce of Trent University. That is the Trent system. Because the world around us is changing at such a rapidly accelerating pace, the next decades will continue to be tumultuous in one way or another. The world in the coming years is going to become almost unrecognizable. The world is going to need to be saved. And that is where you come in. The ability to respond effectively in the face of these massive changes requires a certain kind of person, a certain kind of graduate, you, a product of the Trent system, someone who thinks and acts in new and innovative ways. Many students will graduate this year in Canada and around the world, but you are unique because you have been, are, and will remain forever imbued as a part of the Trent community. You are imbued with the unique, secret powers of the Trent system. You are our new hope. My heartfelt congratulations go to all our graduates today. You have reached an important milestone, and now your new mission can begin. I now declare convocation open. Good morning, Ani, Bouju, Segal, Bonjour. My name is Leo Grork. I'm the eighth president of Trent University, and it's my great privilege to welcome you to the ceremony uh, today. I'm very pleased to say that uh, this uh, week, for the first time in two and a half years, Trent University is having in-person convocations. <laughs> I want to begin, as we always begin at Trent University, by respectfully acknowledging that we are on the traditional and treaty territory of the Michisagic Anishinaabe. We offer our gratitude to First Peoples for their care for and teachings about our earth and our, our relations. May we honor those teachings. Today is a very special ceremony for a number of reasons. Uh, one, uh, because this is a ceremony where we're celebrating the graduates from Trent University's School of Graduate Studies. They represent the highest academic achievement at the university. And to make it even better than that, we are today celebrating graduates from three years 2020, 2021, and 2022. 
How about we start with a round of applause to warm us up for our graduates? If you are watching our live stream from somewhere else within Canada or possibly somewhere around the world, I hope this message reaches you surrounded by your circle of support. Whether you are joining us in person or virtually, you are part of the Trent family. I want to acknowledge some special guests who have joined us for this particular ceremony. Robin Jacobson uh, of the Board of Governors of Trent University, Dan Philberg of the Board of Governors, and Deborah Cooper Berger, the Chair of Trent University's Board of Governors. I also want to precede the, uh, our ceremony by saying something about the convocation ceremony. In one way, it's a very formal ceremony that officially recognizes our graduates and the successful completion of their degrees. At the same time, I encourage you to think that convocation is intended to be a celebration. It's a party especially this year as we are able to gather in person. It's a party to celebrate the successes of our students and the journey that has brought them here. And in the case of graduate studies, as some of the family here will know, that can be a very long journey. And that just means there's more to celebrate. So what we always aim for in these uh, convocations is some kind of blend, respectful, but also fun, and I would note that the Chancellor and I, and the Vice Presidents, I will share, have tried to reach that balance with our formal regalia, our formal ties, and our special Trent shoes, if you can see them. This is the uh, Converse running shoes, which are the official Trent graduation shoes. If you are a supporter of one of our graduates, I want to give you uh, permission to be loud, to applaud, to shout, to show enthusiasm and love in whatever way you want, within reason, of course. <laughs> we also want to give you permission, if you're so inclined, to embarrass your loved one as they walk across the stage. I want to end my preliminary remarks with some comments to our graduates. Uh, I would note that we are in rapidly evolving times. We know and believe that our Trent graduates, like you, can make a momentous difference as compassionate and critical thinkers who challenge, build, and take part in a vibrant future. A future that you're going to help create. I would also note that you're in good company. As an alum, you join the ranks of a global network of distinguished Trent graduates, award-winning authors, game-changing advocates, corporate leaders, professors, researchers, teachers, doctors, nurses, Nobel Prize winners, uh, no pressure there, <laughs> and people who have contributed and continue to contribute in outstanding ways through their careers and their communities. Before you head off into a bright future, take some time to savor the moment and to imagine where your life will take you and to define a purpose that is uniquely your own. Congratulations to all our graduating students. It is now my pleasure to introduce an individual whose remarkable contributions will be recognized with an honorary Doctor of Science degree. With a prolific career spanning more than 60 years, Dr. Charles Krebs has influenced generations of biologists and ecologists worldwide with his teaching and research on the drivers of population and ecosystem change in natural and in agricultural environments. Dr. Krebs is an emeritus professor of zoology at the University of British Columbia and thinker in residence at the Institute for Applied Ecology 
at the University of Canberra. He has published more than 320 peer-reviewed publications and six books, including one of the world's most widely used ecology textbooks. Dr. Krebs is best known for his large-scale field experiments that have advanced our understanding of the mechanisms underlying plant and animal population dynamics, doing so in a way that has transformed the discipline of ecology. He continues to be involved in the longest-running ecological monitoring program in Canada's boreal forest at Cluane Lake, Yukon, which he established 48 years ago. These experiments have transformed the discipline of ecology. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor of presenting to you for the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa, Dr. Charles Krebs. Up so we can get good photos, okay? <laughs> We want to get you out. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Krebs. I now invite you to address the Convocation Assembly. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the graduating classes from the last three years, I guess. Um, I want to, and faculty, of course, families and friends, uh, I want to respectfully acknowledge that we are on the traditional territory of the Mississauga and Ishebeg um, First Nations, and I want to recognize the Environmental Studies Program that for which your excellent university um, and to congratulate all of you students graduating today uh, for your hard work that's brought you to this point. This is not the easiest thing in the world to achieve, and I think you all deserve credit. I'm honored to address Trent University's graduating class of the last three years. I have been recognized for my work in ecological science, and in particular for my research work in northern Canada. The overarching topic uh, that myself and my colleagues, many colleagues, many Canadian ecologists have been asking is seemingly very simple. That is this, how do natural biological communities work? Um, our concentration to answer this, what seems like a simple question, has been on the boreal forest. The boreal forest, which you are on the edge of here, occupies about 60% of Canada, the area of Canada. The Arctic tundra, which I've also worked in, covers about 25% of the area of Canada. And I suggest to you that the north is the ecological heart of Canada. These northern ecosystems contain three species that I think are particularly special to Canadians. These are caribou, snowshoe hares, and lemmings, and I have worked on all of these species. Caribou, of course, are a Canadian icon of major concern uh, because of their falling numbers. If you want a comparison, there are more Canada in, uh, in no, sorry, there are more caribou in Canada than there are wildebeest in the Serengeti. We hear a great deal about wildebeest, not so much about caribou. But many excellent Canadian ecologists have studied caribou because of the conservation issues. My major work and that of my students and colleagues has been to understand the nine to 10 year cycle of the snowshoe hare and the three to four year cycle of lemmings in the tundra. Well, why is it important to study these three species and, and of course many others? The reason we began this work was to challenge the dominant view of historical ecology that nature is in a state of balance or equilibrium. 
if the ecological world is in balance or in equilibrium, humans do not have to worry about what happens there because disturbed ecosystems, whether they're logged or otherwise polluted, will all come back to normal and we don't have to worry about them. But all of these animals we have studied, snowshoe hares and lemmings, fluctuate very greatly in numbers uh, over relatively short time scales. And, um, and these require an explanation. Ecologists want to know the mechanism behind why this is changing. The answers are not all in, of course, um, but they involve a triumvirate of predations, predator-prey interactions, food supplies, food is, of course, critical, social interactions, among territorial individuals. Our research over time has rejected the notion that nature is simply in balance and will take care of itself. Now this conclusion is probably very clear to you after having lived through the COVID epidemic. No one assumes that nature is favorable or in any state of balance. Now all of this research on snowshoe hares, lemmings, and indeed caribou can be considered completely useless because it does not increase Canada's GNP. Uh, but it has become terribly relevant in the era of rapid climate change. Now this leads me to my major message to you, the graduates of this year. There are very large problems of our time and the two very large problems are climate change and sustainability. Climate change is a global problem, you all know that and scientists have sorted out the bigger picture. And it's very clear scientifically what is the problem. Greenhouse gases from burning oil and gas are the major drivers of climate change through their release of carbon dioxide. The results of climate change are increasingly catastrophic in many parts of the world. Again, I don't need to tell you that. Now, my generation has had limited success in scaling back greenhouse gas emissions. And my challenge to all of you is that your generation will have to do much better than ours, than mine has. Um, the eco all the ecological systems we rely on, from fisheries to forestry to agriculture, are all mixed in with the problem of climate change. It's absolutely critical. Now, sustainability is the second very large problem we face. Uh, and it's a problem we do not readily see because the time frame of sustainability is very slow. Ecologists are used to studying and solving long-term problems that, uh, for example, I have been working on for nearly 50 years. These are slow problems, and uh, many problems are not. Um, slow, they're very long term, and sustainability is one of them. Now there's much written about sustainability, about the use of insect poisons, about the erosion of our agricultural soils, and so on. Sustainability has many aspects that we of a society must deal with, and we should all do our part to keep the planet healthy. The model of sustainability is to go back that says we cannot go back to normal. So when somebody tells you we can go back to normal, that is uh, not what can ever happen. Now in closing, I point out the credo of the ecologist is a very simple one from the medical profession. It is do no harm. This is from the writings of the Greek doctor Hippocrates around 300 BC. And it is with that thought of do no harm that I leave you and is a good credo of life. I wish you all the best in your future work and congratulate you on your achievements at Trent University. Thank you. Thank you for those thoughtful remarks, Dr. Krebs. Uh, we will now proceed to the presentation uh, of our graduates. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, Dr. James Connolly, the Dean of Graduate Studies, will present candidates for admission to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. As Dr. Connolly reads the names, the students will cross the stage to be congratulated by the Chancellor in his beautiful convocation shoes, and then by myself 
and will then be welcomed into the Trent Alumni family by Karen McQuaid Smith of the Trent Alumni Association and will be congratulated by other members of the platform part. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, uh, I'm pleased to present for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor that they may receive the degree at your hands. To recognize the fact that these students have achieved the highest academic degree awarded and are now eligible to become professors after they cross the stage, they will join the faculty section and sit with them for the remainder of the ceremony. Mark Alwood Portillo. <laughs> Jessica Mary Caroline Becking. Mary Claire Buell. Uh, Marisol Campos Navarrete. Ryan Andrew Joseph Cole. Richard James Cousins. <laughs> Caitlin Julia Fleming. <laughs> Matthew Robert Hayes. Kelly Dorothea Hines. Soudal Islam. The Governor General's Gold Medal is awarded to the student who has achieved the highest academic standing at the graduate level. Graduate Supervisor Jim Schaefer and the Chancellor will now present the Governor General's Gold Medal to Deborah Jenkins. Amber Dawn Veronica Audrey Johnson. <laughs> Katrina Lucy Claire Jones. Yokai Katanda. Uh, the next candidate was a recipient of the 2021 President's Medal, for PhD, Ansley Giovanni Lewis. The President's Medal records academic excellence and achievement at the graduate studies level. Graduate Supervisor Jonathan Bordeaux and the Chancellor will now present the President's, the President's Medal to Amalia Makar.
beer. <laughs> Mir Madavi. Daria Marchenko. Samantha Amy McFarlane. Verena Sesson. Amy Lou Shawanda. <laughs> Anne Louise Showalter. Jamie Larissa Stabler Agawa. Uh, the next uh, degree recipient is the winner of the 2021 Governor, uh, Governor General's Gold Medal, Catherine Viscardis. Amy Jane Jessica Vosper. <laughs> Barbara Mochenkwe Wall. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Chancellor, I'm pleased to present for the degree Master of Arts, the candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate have duly declared worthy of the honor that they may receive the degree at your hands. Ale Alfonso. Uh, Uh, Akia Ajiman. <laughs> Lucas James Alexio. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Yanni Bezik. Mahanad Al Rub. Laura Michelle Collings. Brandon Corey Collins. Stephanie Megan D'Angelo. <laughs> T 
Taylor George Dobbs. Pamela Forgrave. Sarah Hailstone. The President's Medal rewards academic excellence and achievement at the graduate studies level. Graduate Supervisor Rob Winger and the Chancellor will now present the President's Medal to Catherine Hay Roper. Karen Hicks. <laughs> Anat Kindren. Catherine Alexandra Last. <laughs> Taman Linklater. Deborah Ann Luchuk. <laughs> Robert Giovanni Monaco. Jessa Riley McAuliffe. <laughs> Dominique Obonsawin. Samuel Ofori Dua. Eva Janine Pelechny. <laughs> Fatma Ozen. <laughs> Vivian Ellen Louise Parks. Robin Lindsay Pegg. Elizabeth Rose Pfeiffer. Dylan Wesley Radcliffe. <laughs> Cynthia Mary Rankin. <laughs> Ashley.
Alex Hay Roper. Juanita Marie Spears. Sandra Marie Robinson. Magdalena Lauren Samulski. Rebecca Spence. <laughs> Sabrina Amy Swain. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Masters of Art. Mr. Chancellor, I'm pleased to present for the degree of Master of Bioenvironmental Bio Monitoring and Assessment the candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor that they may receive the degree at your hands. Jordan Connor Beatty. Hey, Jordan. Jackson Carl Bellamy. Tamara Bernadette Berry. <laughs> Michelle Azalea Correa Furafino. <laughs> Marika Danielle Mackenzie Hasbeck. Adam Benjamin Peter Herman. Audrey Lopo. Moomin Kam Natch. <laughs> Kelly Mae Rintel. Woo, Kelly. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Master of Bioenvironmental Monitoring and Assessment. Mr. Chancellor, I'm pleased to present for the degree of Master of Education the candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor that they may receive the degree at your hands. Go, Jennifer Lynn Bates. <laughs> Sabata Chowdhury. Jake Havana Dean. <laughs> Chloe Rayanne Devlin. <laughs> Erica Lee Flegel.
Sydney Habrakin. Krista Dawn Kermer. Whitney Lake. Hillary Ann Marshall. Natalie Ann Nelson. Allison Osborne. Jamie Whitley. Brandon Ramelagus. Laura Ann Samier. Maxim Thompson. Jillian Ann Rama Sablin. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Master of Education. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I am pleased to present for the degree of Master of Science in Forensic Science the candidates whose names will be read whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor that they may receive the degree at your hands. Alyssa Ashley Dimbleby. Mercedes Cortland Eccleston. Nikita Diane Louise Heathfield. Diana. Sorry, Diana. <laughs> Monica Heaney Racine. Lauren Ashley Heyman. <laughs> Jacqueline Louise Hill. Joey Hodges. Danielle Louise Monk. <laughs> Natalie Elise Rajak. <laughs> Ilona Rosinska.
Martina Marie Van Dyke. Kasana Vijayaratnam. Yinfei Yin Wong. Honya Wyatt. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Master of Science in Forensic Science. Mr. Chancellor, I'm pleased to present for the degree of Master of Instrumental Chemical Analysis the candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor that they may receive the degree at your hands. Anita Chavel. Samantha Fabrizzi. Kevin Douglas Mars. Uh, please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree Master of Instrumental Chemical Analysis. Mr. Chancellor, I am pleased to present for the degree of Master of Science candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor that they may receive the degree at your hands. Sabir Ahmed. <laughs> Avneet Singh Ahuja. Allah Ardesh Kumar Allah. Sora Bada. Anzir Jahan Bari. William Batoff. <laughs> Chad Ryan Colston. <laughs> Caitlin Cunningham. Shadipta Devnath. <laughs> Cassandra Del Francesco. Jenny Santos Dela Cruz. Charita de Gala. Yeah. 
Chanella Chowdhury Dontapati. Tasha Falconer. <laughs> Hadi Farzan. Amruta Varshini Guma. Jatin Gupta. <laughs> Miriam Halle. Sadman Saki Bifti. MD Asad Uzzaman. MD Asad Uzzaman. MD Asad Uzzaman. Rashita Jupali. Sindhu Kalakonda. <laughs> Ankit Kalra. Sakarthik Kandakonda. Gurleen Kaur. Ramanpreet Kaur. Harkindapreet Kaur. Harapriya Kesavaraj. Tarush Khatri. Amir Kairi. Anudeep Kona. Alexandra Margaret Kuhn. Lin Lei. Oh, 
a Klima Actor Lima. Brianne Lazinski. Freddie Lou. Sanjita Actor Luva. Deepak Reddy. Parveen Kumar Marachami. Yang Meng. Emily Mitchell. Mafosa Montaj. Anissa Mudaras. Sal Hill Nagpal. <laughs> Benaz Nakia Burajani. <laughs> Jatender Paul Singh. Bhargav Reddy. Akash Patel. Rashi Dinabashi, Din, sorry, excuse me, Dinabashi Patel. Sri Harsha Pathuri. Abhishek Devadas Pawar. Manju Prashant. Samiyun Nahar Prathul. Yes, MD Ashakur Rahman. Tamzida Rahman. Rayala Rama Shri. Woo! 
Victor Samuel Rivas. Cara <laughs> Rutherford. <laughs> Tuli Saha. Taryn Sheltons. <laughs> Nippon Sharma. <laughs> Pradyum Singh. John Christopher Smith. Woo. Emily Story Herchebees. Ami Tassili. Rakesh Thota. Tashan Hussein Tonboy. <laughs> Mahatish Rao Venapali. Shreya Walia. Alicia Yap. Sai Maduri Yamasetti. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the Master of Science degrees. Mr. Chancellor, I am pleased to present for all graduate diplomas the candidates whose names will be read, whom the Senate has duly declared worthy of the honor, that they may receive the diploma at your hands. Jordan Thomas McIntosh. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the graduate diploma. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I ask you to confer degrees and diplomas in absentia on candidates whose names are before you and who are unable to be with us today. Mr. Chancellor, Marianne Caballosi will now introduce the honor song. Bonjour, everyone. 
Before all words can be spoken, we bring greetings to all of creation. We give gratitude for the rising of Grandfather Sun and the light and warmth that he brings. We give thanks for another day of life. We give gratitude to all of our relatives who care for us in these challenging times. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, honored guests and graduates. In the custom of the first peoples of this land, we offer the sound of the drum to honor our mother, the earth. We send our profound and deepest gratitude to all of creation. We greet the world with humility and embrace the richness, diversity, and wonder that is life. In Anishinaabe teachings, the sound of the drum represents the original sound of creation. This sound reverberates still throughout the universe and infuses our being with life. We sound the drum to connect us with creation, to honor and celebrate life, and to remember to live with humility and kindness among all living beings. We offer these words of praise for those who are graduating on this day. We offer these words of thanksgiving to those who have made these accomplishments possible. We offer these words of respect and honor to those who strive to bring dignity to our lives. We offer these words to remind us of the seven grandfather, grandmother teachings to live with humility, bravery, honesty, wisdom, truth, respect, and love. We offer this song to restore our good minds. We offer this song to accompany all of you on your travels. May you travel well, and may your lives be filled with grace and dignity. May you work always for peace in our lives. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, honored guests and graduates, I have the pleasure of presenting Unity and the Honor Song. Please stand if you are able.
Thank you, Unity. You may be seated. Miigwech, Unity, thank you as always for being part of our ceremony today. As we near the conclusion of this ceremony, let me once again on behalf of Trent University thank everyone for being here today. Congratulations to our new and returning alumni, including Dr. Krebs, and I ask all the graduating students to stand, both sides, for one more round of applause for all of their accomplishments. Now I'd ask the graduates to, let's think about the people in the audience. That's your circle of support. Uh, they might have provided a check or two when it was needed. Maybe even more importantly, emotional support. And uh, as we've been saying, it's a sort of theme today, but it's, it's a correct theme. Uh, the graduate route is a long journey, and these are the people that have uh, supported you. So I'd ask you to give a round of applause for the people in the audience who are here to support you. Actually, I'd ask you to give an even louder round of applause for the people who support you. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Please be seated. Uh, following the ceremony, feel free to take photos with your graduates on this beautiful campus. If you're really adventurous, you might go and get a canoe from the athletic center. But please sign a liability form before you do anything like that. Uh, the ceremony will end with the singing of O Canada. At that point, it, I would ask you to remain standing if you are able until the procession has left the stage. Mr. Chancellor, I call upon you to dismiss convocation. Thank you, Mr. President. This has indeed been a wonderful day. Uh, before we close, there are some final words uh, that we would like to impart upon our graduates. And this is in the theme that this is both a formal and an informal ceremony. And we're segueing into the party and the informal side of the, the ceremonies today. So I would ask uh, members of the faculty, uh, at least in the front row, to come and join me for the traditional parting song. Um. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Happy trails to you till we meet again. Convocation is now dismissed.